Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Rice and I teach family photographers to gain a life of freedom through a thriving photography business. In today's video, we're comparing AI editing versus editing with a preset to see which does better. Let's dive in. If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video so that other photographers just like you can find it easier and hit that subscribe button so that you can get notified when new videos go live here on the channel. Before we get into all things AI editing, presets, all the things, I wanted to let you know about a free class that I have just for you guys. And it's called the six steps to double your photography revenue. And so if you're the kind of person who is either struggling to book right now, or um, you know that you're like missing something in your business to take it to the next level, this class is for you. I walk you through the biggest mistakes that photographers make in their marketing and how to fix them, as well as what the different pieces of a solid marketing strategy look like. I show you exactly what we do in our marketing so that you can uh, take your business to the next level. So if you're wanting to increase your revenue this year, really take your business to the next level with your bookings, this class is for you. The link is in the description, so go check that out. I'd love for you to join us. Okay, so let's get into things. AI editing versus editing with presets. Now, if you haven't already, go watch my previous two videos where I walk you through all things Imagine AI, which is the AI editing software that we use. Um, but in this video, I wanted to kind of address the question of how is editing with Imagine AI different from editing with presets like the majority of people do, or even editing by hand, because that is kind of the big question in the industry right now is, can AI editing do the same thing or as good of a job as if you were to edit with presets or edit by hand? And so that's really what I want to address in this video. So to give a little bit of background in case you're not super familiar with editing with presets, basically a preset is something that you can apply to your photos, kind of like a filter, if you will, it's not a filter, but stick with me. You apply it to your photos in Lightroom and it gives you a starting point for your editing. Now, no preset is like one click and it's perfect. You're always gonna have to go in and tweak the preset, but it does give you a really solid starting point for where you wanna go from there. A typical workflow for working with a preset is you apply the preset, you make tweaks to that photo to get it where it needs to be, and then you batch edit, you know, copy the settings from that one photo to other photos that are like it in the gallery. Then you go in and do individual tweaks on each of those photos, and then you move on to the next set of images. Editing with presets can help you get a nice, consistent, and cohesive look throughout your gallery, but it does take you going in and tweaking each individual photo after the preset has been added. Because like I said, no preset is just one click and done. There's always some kind of tweaks that need to be made. That's just the reality of working with presets. Now on the other side of things, let's talk about AI editing. So I use Imagine AI for our AI editing software. Now, if you have never heard of Imagine AI or you wanna go test it out, we have a link in the description that will give you 1500 free edits so that you can try it out completely for free to kind of test the waters and see what you think about it for yourself. So in Imagine AI or AI editing, what they use is called an editing profile. So it's similar to a preset, but it's not a preset. So in Imagine AI, the way that it works is you can apply an editing profile from, they have you know, kind of like a little library of some that are just included with Imagine AI, or you can use a custom profile. Either you build a one yourself from your own edits, or you can actually purchase a custom profile. Like if you wanted to use my custom profile, it is available to purchase. And so um, this is not like widely done yet. And so there's not, you can't just go to any of your favorite photographers and purchase theirs, but I have been partnering with Imagine AI and I'm so excited. So if you want to check out my custom editing profile, the link is also in the description. You can go check it out and use that for yourself. But basically, Basically what an editing profile is, is it is 
artificial intelligence that has learned your editing style. And so I mentioned it's not a preset. So what it does, basically my custom editing profile, I submitted you know, a certain number of, of catalogs so that the computer or the robot could learn how I edit, not just you know what preset I use, but what individual tweaks do I make to different settings based on what the image looks like it's fascinating, the science behind it. So what I'll do is I'll submit a Lightroom catalog of completely raw images to Imagine AI, and it will apply my editing profile. And so what it does is it is individually editing every single image. It's not just slapping a preset on there, but it's actually looking at the data, the raw data, and it's editing every individual image to match my editing style. So I do edit with presets, but it's not just slapping the preset on. It's it's going in and making those tweaks depending on the white balance of the photo and the exposure and all the things. It's making tweaks that it learned I would make in each individual photo. It's crazy. And the best part is it does it at one second an image. What? It literally edits one second per image. So a typical workflow for working with an AI editing profile is I will send off a completely raw unedited gallery to Imagine AI. It will apply my editing profile and send it back within minutes. It's so fast. And then I can go in and if there's any final tweaks to make, I can make those final tweaks, but it's not nearly as much as if I were working with just a preset, the amount of tweaks that I would have to make. I'm talking the most I ever have to adjust is maybe a tad bit of exposure. Like it's crazy. It's the white balance perfect. It gets, you know, my shadows perfect, all the things, my greens. It just does such a great job. And I go in and just add a little bit of fine tuning and polish. So at the end of the day, the question is, which is better? Can AI editing actually edit like I would using a preset? Now, I this is so cool. I wanted to show you some side-by-side -side images of Imagine AI edit versus my personal edit using my preset. And so um, I have a few different examples for you guys. It's crazy how close these are. And what I did basically was I ran... The, these photos through Imagine AI. And then without looking at them, I went through and edited the same photos from RAW, how I would edit normally. And I want to show you these side by side because the difference is so minuscule. It's crazy. Let's take a look at the first example. So here we have um, the Sweet Case family. This is my dear friend, Stephanie Case, and her husband, Michael, and their twin girls. We did a family session here in Nashville for them. So here on the left, you can see we have the edit done by Imagine AI run through there. Um, and then on the right is my personal edit without even you know looking, just editing with my preset and then making tweaks from there. So they are very very close. Now the the photo done by Imagine is a little bit darker, like tiny, tiny bit darker. Um, and I would say in the photo that I edited, the colors are a little bit more washed out. Um, so the shadows are a little bit stronger in the Imagine edit. Honestly, looking at these side by side, I, I like the Imagine version better, <laughs> which is so funny. And so it really did such a great job of getting it very, very close to how I would have edited it myself. And so when, you know, it comes down to it, imagine wins that one. Let's take a look at the next one. So this is, um, my dear friends, Anna and Ryan, we did a family session for them last, the end of last year, um, when we were down in Florida and these photos are again, very, very close. So on the left, you have the imagine edit on the right, you have my edit. Um, you can see that the imagine edit is a little bit warmer and those shadows are a little bit darker in, um, the imagine edit. So mine, uh, is a little bit cooler on the white balance and um, a little bit brighter. Overall though, they're very, very close. Again, to the point where the average person who's not you know, a trained eye 
probably wouldn't know the difference. And I could deliver either of those photos and they would be so happy with how that turned out. Like that is up to quality for what I would deliver. It's crazy. One more example. This is uh, Kensington. She's so sweet. She has since had her sweet baby, um, but this is when she was pregnant. We did a maternity session for her, um, also in Florida, but in a different part of Florida. And so you can see the Imagine edit on the left and then my edit on the right. Again, they're so close. If anything, mine is like slightly brighter. Um, there's a little bit more highlights on her face and her dress, um, but overall, they're super, super close. I'm talking the white balance is just about the same there. I mean, it's very close. Again, where an untrained eye wouldn't be able to tell a difference. A trained eye may not be able to really tell a difference um, because it gets that close. And so that just goes to show you that Imagine AI really, really does a great job of matching the style and actually editing the photo how I would have edited it. It's wild. So when we talk about editing with Imagine AI versus editing by hand with a preset, which one wins? In my opinion, Imagine AI hands down because it gets very, very close to what I would have edited anyways. And the speed is what makes all the difference because like I said, they edit an image a second. It, it sat, you know, I'm a fast editor and it still took me, I mean, at least a minute, if not more, to fine tune my version of the edit that it did in literally one second. So it just works so much faster and saves so much time for me to then just go in and put final eyes and make any minor tweaks that may be needed to the gallery. So if you want to, if that doesn't sell you, I don't know what will, I'm telling you, give Imagine AI a try because it's going to save you so much time in the long run. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with how close it can get to you know, editing the way that you would edit. It might actually do a better job than you would do. You never know until you try. So give it a try. Uh, you can try it completely for free. You get 1500 images edited completely for free using the link in the description. Also, if you like my editing style that you saw here in this video, um, you can get my editing profile. Uh, it's for sale now. I'm so excited to be partnering with Imagine AI to be able to get that into your hands where you can use my exact custom editing profile uh, and apply it to your images the way that I would edit your gallery. So that is also linked in the description. Go check it out. I'm telling you, it's going to be a game changer for you. So I'm really um, excited for the future of photography and just the possibilities that are here and available to us. Just to save so much time and be able to spend that time, less time behind your computer and more time doing things that matter most in your life. So if even if you're skeptical, even if you're like, oh, I don't know how I feel about this, give it a try. What's it going to hurt to just try it and see what you think? So I'd love to hear if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them here in the comments and I'd love to come through and help. And um, if you have questions that maybe that I didn't talk about, about Imagine AI, um, drop those here too. I'd love to help and yeah, have fun exploring this new software and I can't wait to see what you think. With that, we'll go ahead and close out. I'll see you next week with another video. Bye guys.